Government and the labor unions have met four times. At the first meeting, government offered to increase their base pay by 8%. The unions rejected that offer, including the latest offer of 18%. We've met, we've met government progress to 18 we also progressed to 65. Initially, the unions wanted a 60% increment in their base pay. Now, they are asking for 5% more. President of Clocksack, Dr. Bampo Ado, explains why. And the government says they are going to consult. We also stated that we're going to meet our constituents and then we also give them feedback. So this is how we ended. We are not being unfair. As you are aware, we've read the budget and... There is an indication that there will be an increase in VAT of 2.5. And then also it has been indicated that the tax brackets are going to change. So this is fresh information that we've brought on the table. Because the budget has indicated certain issues relating to VAT and the tax bracket that is going to increase our burden. And so we need to compensate for that. Deputy Secretary General of the Trades Union Congress, Joshua Ansa, says the unions will have to consult their membership before they return to the negotiating table. I don't agree with you that it will be difficult. We've never been difficult. We've been considerate for years and many things have gone wrong. So I think that is the time to right the wrongs. The single pay salary structure is the most indecent structure in this very country. And we think that this is the opportunity time for us to right the wrongs. So we have not been difficult. We are the same union leaders. We are the same people that took the 4 and 7 percent. We are the same people who are asking for 60. And the reasons are pretty clearly on the wall. We will never take anything below the 60 percent. We are not representing ourselves. We are representing our constituents. And we have to go back and inform our members who sent us to negotiate for them. The Deputy Minister for Employment and Labour Relations, Bright Rekubrobe, says government is frustrated. Unfortunately, we have had to table, uh, we have had to table something any time we have met. Uh, but Labour insists on a figure. So uh, we are going back and we will reconvene. I am disturbed. I, I am disturbed. But in the spirit of negotiation, We'll go back and come again. Space. It's about money. It's about ability to pay. So I am also worried that they are also not moving to come and meet us at where we can come to a compromise. Because, because, because for the fourth consecutive times, we have had to table something. And Labour says that they are unwilling to take it. So it's, it's a clear case of frustration, very genuine one indeed. So it is not like I am not happy. Of course, you don't want me to be happy when there is this state of affairs. Well, we are going back to look at what we can do, and then uh, if we can go further, we will let the media know. We will let them know. If both parties fail to reach an agreement soon, the National Labor Commission will be invited to mediate. The meeting has now been adjourned indefinitely. For Joy News, Michael Ashale.